This video is brought to you by my patrons and by viewers like you. Hey everyone, quick update before this video starts. Starting now in October on this day, I will be doing two videos a month. I mentioned this at the end of last week's video. The next video is going to be in two weeks. So that will be October 23rd. This footage is from July of this year. That's gonna kind of show you how backed up I am on videos and stuff that I've recorded. Ugh. But I don't care. I need to take a bit of a, a break from something somewhere. And so this is the place, okay? I am sorry to have to cut back on videos, but I also appreciate your patience with me. Maybe when things settle down a little bit, I can go back to doing a weekly video. But right now, two videos a month. I hope you enjoy this one. Without further ado, here's my review of Stages of Rot. Greetings, groovy people. Welcome to Blue Dragon Art. I'm the self-proclaimed Blue Dragon. I've been doing a lot of reading this year. Hold up, let me turn off my fan. Not quite as oppressive this week as it was last week at time of recording. <laughs> yeah, so this is an art-related channel. I talk about independent comic artists and comics mostly. I don't really talk so much about the artist. <laughs> what a joke, Blue. Um, I read things and I talk about them. I make things and I talk about it. I do stuff and I talk about it. Yay, I'm good at talking. <laughs> anyway, or at least I'd like to think I am. Anyhow, okay, enough being silly. I've been doing a lot of reading this year. Part of it's with the Discord group that I'm in, and at some point I'm going to be talking about the book Minu that I just got done reading, but we're going to have like our book club and everything. Um, it's by an author who's a part of this Discord group. And I've actually really been enjoying her writing, but that's not what this video is about. I have in Meet Space friends as well, believe it or not. It took me years. I mean, we were in a lockdown, but, but I've finally been making like in-person friends as well as you know I still write some of my friends from like college and stuff and I get a lot of book suggestions um things to read so this year I've been really really trying to to keep up with the suggestions that people <laughs> have been giving me and this is a graphic novel that one of my uh my in-person friends let me borrow she is always giving me books to read and comics and so um her girlfriend also um or I should say her partner also has given me some stuff to read so i mean i've been trying to do you know trying to 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 read stuff that people suggest to me and because um my one friend is really big into graphic novels and comics as well as i am uh she oftentimes will give me like comics to read and i don't really want to talk like I'm not going to do like an in-depth review of this book, Stages of Rot. Uh, I'm going to butcher this woman's name, so I will just put it up on screen. I think it's Linnea Start Startra is how I would say that, but I don't know where she's from. I tried to look it up lazily before starting this video, and there's no Wikipedia, so, you know, m my research is done. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I went to like her Twitter. The Twitter's gone. I went to Goodreads. It just talks about her books. Like, I mean, that's important. You know, the books are probably more important than, you know, personal effects. But then again, you know, art is so incredibly personal that it is, you know, I don't know when I'm treading the line of being nosy and, you know, just wanting some general information and background on a person. I'm sure there's information. Look, I'm going to open the, the flap and there'll be something about her. No, it's it's just about the, the story here. I, I don't know where she's from. If anybody knows, somebody please tell me in the comments. <laughs> Maybe when I edit this video, I'll look it up and stop being lazy. Um, but I wanted to get this out of the art room before I destroyed it with ink and gouache and water and shit, you know? And graphite and crap like that. I, I want it out of my art room because I, I will destroy it by accident inevitably if I don't get it out of here. Wow, that's a long intro. Uh, so anyway, this is called Stages of Rot. It's actually a 2018 Eisner Award nominee under the category of Best Graphic Album. And this is, I think, a re-release because it's now got like an additional 17-page story. Um, no words in the back, which is fine. I love... 
I love graphic storytelling. Um, I mean, that's one of the benefits of having something that is, you know, a graphic novel. It's a picture, a picture tell has a thousand words or whatever. <laughs> Tells a thousand word story. <laughs> that's the new saying. <laughs> But anyway, I'm just kind of like gushing about, you know, why I love graphic novels so much. Like even as a as an adult, I like books that are graphically illustrated along with text. I don't think there's anything wrong with having pictures. I don't know when that weird fucking stigma started being put in place because like if you look at a lot of novels and stuff from like the 1800s and even the the early 1900s, you know, there's there's pictures in books. I don't know why we stopped doing that and why we thought it was smarter to just have words and not, you know, include art too. I don't even know if that's the reason. It's probably like a cheap, cheaper way of publishing shit. But anyway, uh, what do I know? What do I know? None of that is like fact checked. Okay, you guys, it's just me spewing out my silly thoughts. But at any rate, one of the things that I really love about graphic novels is the ability to tell stories without words. And this is a, a story that is very minimal in text. It's, okay, so I mentioned that it's Sages of Rot, but essentially it's on an alien planet and it goes through the centuries of this space whale. I, I get the idea that it's, it's not just a space whale. There's some kind of symbiotic relationship between the space whale and this humunculus pilot. Um, but at any rate, I don't want to like give, I mean spoilers i mean i don't know that you can really give a spoiler this is something you really got to read y'all i can look show you the pages and you ain't gonna know shit of what's going on without actually <laughs> reading it but you will have an idea of what's going on without reading it just because the the artwork is so fantastic but it's on an alien planet and this space whale dies and its carcass comes through the atmosphere and lands upon the planet and the story uh, entails like different civilizations from when it first landed on the planet and people scavenging it to uh, when mushrooms uh, and fungi start breaking it down um, and a different culture which uses its bones to create artwork that tells the story um, of the creature. It's really just fascinating. Then there's like some other there's other cultures that it goes through until eventually it comes to what I presume is quote-unquote modern day when a scientist, um, archaeologist, zoologist, whatever it is, um, whatever they are, they um, find the, 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 hum the homunculus and bring her to a museum. And it's just, it's just gorgeous, the, the artwork in this. It reminds me of um, Fantastic Planet in a way, if anyone saw that animated film. Um, only Fantastic Planet is very bizarre and it's got more like, it's got dialogue and stuff to it. Um, and it's a lot more, in my opinion, antagonistic than this this story was. Not to say that there aren't like, you know, disputes and, and implied violence in this. There is. Um, but it's not anything in the sense of Fantastic Planet on that that spectrum. But it is, you know, an alien planet and it's kind of looking at different alien cultures um, in a similar way. And it also has kind of like, I want to say a similar color palette. Oh, this, this color palette is just fucking gorgeous. I just love the teal with the salmon. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so well done. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminded me of that. I mean, just in the in the fact that it was like, you know, an alien planet with different cultures and, and the color palette. But I don't want to like belabor this. This is something that I really can't explain very well in words. It's something you have to read yourself, I feel. I, th I feel like I always say that. But I mean, it's such an easy read. Like, there, it's so... <sighs> I say it's an easy read, but what I mean to say is there's very little text, um, but there's so much detail in the pages and I mean, it flows very, very easily. But it's something where I found myself going back and looking at pages and panels 
over and over again, just kind of absorbing it into my being. It's just very... I don't know. It's one of those things. It's like I grew up loving stuff like Graham Bases, uh, Animalia. I like looking at things. And even though like this isn't as densely crowded as his artwork, um, it is something that I come, you know, that I can keep. I, I, I skimmed over pages like several times. I've, and I've even like before starting this video was looking at it again and I'm like, oh, yeah. I just feel like there's a lot of enjoyment to be derived from this. I mean, it's a simple story, but at the same time, it's very complex. If that makes any sense at all. I mean, I, th I think I'm someone that I believe that two things can be true <laughs> at <one> time. <laughs> you know, walking contradiction. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something that I just, it's just a really beautiful comic. I think I read this in like one sitting. Um, I just sat down and I enjoyed it. Like I started it and then I restarted it because I was like, oh, well, this is something that I just want to take in all at once. I've been finding myself turning off the computer a lot more at night. Um, I've been, tr I mean, I still am playing video games, but I've just been trying to like detach a little bit from like the computer <sighs> just cause I've been getting so stressed. So I've been really trying to enjoy the, the the books and things that people have been giving me to read, letting me borrow, or like telling me to read. I check things out of the library. Um, something else that this reminded me of last year. Now this is totally different, and I don't. I wouldn't even want to say it's it's like the same thing, but it reminds me. This dude was walking around the Portland Zine Symposium, and I, I showed off a little bit of this. Um, but he was at the, the zine symposium last year, um, selling his stuff, but he was also like trading his artwork with people and um, holy shit, he just gave me this, like I gave him some stuff, but then he came back and gave me more of his stuff. <laughs> um, I just, it's kind of cool because like the coloring is what I'm saying. Like you can, you can see what I'm talking about and how this is an independent artist. You all can check them out. They're on, um, or he's on Instagram. If you're interested, I'll put that link down in the description. I did talk about this a little bit, um, either last year or earlier this year, but um, I really am finding like his, 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 I think what reminded me besides like, obviously the, the color is similar. I don't know if he's read this or not. I, and this is so different. It's not anything like, it's not anything like this. So I'm not like drawing the comparison to say he's copying. But I'm saying it's that Moby-esque, um, those alien landscapes, just a lot of sitting with the images, sitting with the artwork. You don't have to have a lot of distractions. You don't have to have a lot of noise. You can just have the image. And that's kind of what this reminded me of was this guy's art. Only this one is obviously a little more detailed and this is black and white. Um, nothing wrong with that. I, I mean, his use of space and his composition, I've been meaning to study this a little bit more. Um, cause my artwork's very different, but it doesn't mean that you can't pick up things from other artists, you know, something like this, something like this, just the composition, but yeah, the, the, the strange alien landscapes that seem to come alive, um, I just really thought this was a beautiful book. Uh, this is not my book, as, as I mentioned. Somebody let me borrow this, but I mean, I wouldn't mind having this in my library. Um, I, I've been trying to primarily buy independent artists recently. I'm not saying this person is independent just because they're published. They are independent. Um, but of late, I've been trying to primarily get like indie stuff. Um, just to help support the community and because there's so much cool stuff that I that I've been um, finding I want to do a video soon talking about some cool new comics that have been popping up on comic fury um, I need to go I need to do like a tapas video too um, there's a couple that I read on webtoon but really not a lot webtoon I don't really everybody I know it's like the platform to go to and it's where all the readers are but I don't like its desktop format at all um and i don't read 
I don't read comics on my phone. It's too small. I'm too old. I can't see it. And my phone, my phone is old, y'all. And there's all kinds of issues with it. It's not this crummy looking serious face. It's actually in pretty good condition because I've, I've never really taken it about without the gross yellowing cover but why am I why why have I why am I divulging this information to you all anyway I want to do a video on some other independent artists that are smaller indie but if you want to check this out this is from um oh god it's not Piao I want to say Piao because it looks like meow only it's gonna be <laughs> oh god um it's published by P-E-O-W. -P I'll just spell it. Uh, and I'll put their website down in the description. They got a gorgeous website um, that advertises this book. So um, y'all can check that out if this is something that interests you. Oh, you can also probably find this at like your local library. Maybe you just want to peruse it and enjoy the artwork. That's something else that I do. Like when people tell me to, to, to read a book um, before I buy it. I mean, because I get so many suggestions. Um, unless it's someone that I, you know, know or something that I'm, you know, an author that I know, I, I usually won't go and purchase it until I've checked it out at the library. Um, because we're, we're trying to keep like our space from being too incredibly flooded with stuff these days. But, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, check it out from the library and see if you want a copy of it. I thought this was cool. I wanted to share it with you. Um, I think I'm done now. <laughs> Peace. And love, fare you well, and keep on trucking.